Good afternoon, everybody. Um, it's a great pleasure being here presenting. I came from Coimbra, Portugal. Uh, I do not have any conf uh, potential conflict of interest. Um, we present a case of a 72 years old male, a Caucasian, uh, with past history of hypertension, diabetes, and dyslipidemia, and the history of coronary artery disease. Um, he was referred to our CAT lab due a, due a, to a positive ischemia test in the anterior segments. He was previously medicated with rosvastatin, lysinopralina, bivalol, aspirin, clopidogrel, and mononitride. The coronary angiography showed um, a left main without uh, significant lesions, uh, a stent in the, in the middle segment of the, uh, LAD, and uh, the occlusion of the distal segment of LAD, and as we can see in the next slide, um, a retrograde filling by the, the right coronary artery. A circumflex with a stent in the middle segment uh, without restenosis, and this is the right coronary artery um, without significant lesions, and uh, we can see the retrograde filling of the uh, left anterior descending artery, we're in trap uh, two. So, uh, in a second time, um, an, um, an elective angioplasty of the CTO was, was scheduled, um, and uh, we used a double cannulation uh, and um, uh, using a, a micro for for better for for better support. After successful uh, passage of the guide wire, and when we are removing the the micro catheter. Uh, we can see uh, is the um, uh, the release of the fragment, a small fragment of the distal portion of the the microcatheter. So uh, how to solve this? And uh, uh, now we solve this. Um, we uh, push the the guide wire and advance this guide wire into a distal uh, diagonal, and um, using another microcatheter, push the, this fragment into into this um, diagonal branch uh, successfully. Um, then we, you, the procedure uh, was was uh, continued without uh, complications, uh, with implantation of two two overlapping stands, and uh, with a good uh, good angiographic uh, result. So, uh, support catheter provides a combination of support and shape options to enable tailored approach to tough lesions. We provide a case of separation of a fragment from the distal portion of the microcatheter. Placing this fragment into a, a diagonal a branch allowed to continue the procedure uh, with absence of cardiac events in the subsequent month. In some complications, the approach in the cat lab should be keep it simple in order to not uh, uh, increase the, the complications. Uh, thank you. And this is an example of leaving some material inside the circulation. What was your, your uh, anti-platter therapy? What was your uh, strategy after that? Did you do anything special? Uh, no. Uh, aspirin and clopidogrel because it's a coronary stable uh, disease. Okay. Any more comments? Um, do you have absolutely clear is the clinical, uh, uh, clinical uh, symptoms uh, before procedure? It's a distal part of LAD with a contra, uh, exactly. contralateral uh, floor. It's a not really clinical uh, symptoms uh, just before angiography. It's very interesting for the technical, but from the, the clinical, maybe it's not need for performing. It's, 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 a, it's a, the, the discussion of the CTO uh, scenario. Uh, what we, we had is the, the, the positive uh, ischemia test, the scintigraphy in the anterior segment. So um, it's uh, the, the, uh, the operator option and the, the, the art team option was, was to 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 procedure, but it's a it's a, um, uh, clearly if it, if the symptoms likes uh, likes more stable likes more positive then you your force you need for this uh, treat this this uh, part and it's uh, and it's expensive to to the master as a patient with no real clinical and mm -hmm. a good per, uh, good uh, good results in the future for lap is very nice for this patient with coltary flow in, in only apex of uh, of the heart it's for me <coughs> yes. anything else from the audience there's one question i would like to make a contribution uh, this uh, these fractures are uh, s seems to be less problematic because you can leave on the side points or very distant part of the coronary artery. 
We had two case experiences where the uh, wire uh, has broken from the very proximal part. Uh, even the proximal part of the wire was singing in the aorta. Uh, so two ladies with uh, heavy calcified and tortuous circumflex arteries uh, with non-STMI presentation. Uh, after several attempts uh, due to tortuosity, the wire broke uh, from very proximal part and the uh, wire was swinging inside the aorta. Uh, we uh, argued with the surgery and they of course did not take the patient. And uh, we stented from this part of the circumflex to the LMCA, uh, just covering the whole part of the uh, wire. And we have been following these patients for years and nothing happened with uh, antibiotic therapy. Very good. Yes, please. It was, a, it was a very good case. Um, the one way he has presented it that you pass it into a distal or a side branch and nothing will happen. My question to the panel is what other techniques would you use to prevent or to retrieve the tick of the microcatheter in this scenario? <laughs> I would not be comfortable in leaving the foreign body in a small coronary circulation. It will be a clinical incident. What, what, what techniques would you propose to retrieve it? Does anyone want to answer the, the question? I think it, it, that's a very good question. Uh, many of us would leave the, the tip of the catheter, like the microcatheter in this situation, or the tip of the, of the guide wire, sometimes leave it in the, in the circulation and, I mean, just pray for it not to, to, to thrombose and uh, close the artery. But if you want to do something, probably try to, uh, uh, I don't know, slide another balloon and uh, probably a snare, which is you have the, the risk of uh, dissecting the artery. So uh, if you want to do things inside the coronary artery, I, you know, I would try not to, because otherwise you'll get in trouble and you're going to end up having a, a great disaster. So I, I don't want to you know, propose any, so, something different because it would be risky. What would you do in your institution if this happens? I've seen or at least I have contributed to uh, stenting with the <coughs> coronary wire which was left in and we have left the coronary wire floating as well. But I have never seen or done or uh, leaving a tip of the microcatheter inside. I think it would be a thrombogenic and um, a Fortunately, they were able to push the, the tip of the microcatheter into a lateral branch into a small branch, which, uh, which is lucky. But if you leave one of those in the main artery, something different may happen. Uh, that is true. That is true. Okay. Thank you very much. So, um,